Hi guys, I'm Anastasia and this is English with Lingua Trip. Now be honest, how many hours a day do you spend watching Netflix? I bet that number is far from zero. That's why using TV shows to help with your English language learning is such a great idea. Everything's in English. All you need to know. All right, how did you learn to speak English? Let's start with the shows that even beginners will manage to understand. Black Mirror is a scandalous TV show that focuses on the future instead of the past. It shows the dystopian future that can happen if some kind of technologies take over. Each episode is a mini-film that is not really connected to other episodes. The showrunners invite famous directors such as Joe Wright, Jodie Foster, James Watkins and David Slade who produce different episodes in their own style and aesthetics. You have to brace yourself. It's not a doll. That thing was a poison. Pull out whatever we can get on this guy. The cast of the show is international, so you will hear a wide range of different English accents. The dialogues are usually well thought through, so even if you have a lower level of English, you'll be able to understand what's happening. The Crown is a historical drama that follows the story of the British royal family from the middle of the 20th century to the present day. The show is highly praised and criticized at the same time, so if you're a fan of the British royal family, that's definitely a must-see for you. This country was still great when I came to the throne. All that's happened on my watch is the place has fallen apart. You cannot flinch. It's only fallen apart if we say it has. That's the thing about the monarchy. We paper over the cracks. In terms of English, you will learn a lot of idiomatic expressions, such as chance would be a fine thing, which means something would be great, but it's not likely to happen. A naval officer's stag night. Chance would be a fine thing. Or there wasn't a single person who supported the match, where the word match means a romantic relationship and a future marriage. And the phrase overall means that nobody approved of that. There wasn't a single person supported the match. Put all the expressions and traditional British accents aside. The plot is really easy to follow, so I believe even learners with lower English levels will be able to enjoy the show and follow the story. Oh, and by the way, in one of the episodes, Prince Charles, you know, he's the Prince of Wales, he's learning Welsh. Yay! That episode made me really happy because I live in Wales and I really like the Welsh language. So if you're curious about what the Welsh language sounds like, watch it. Right. What did he say? He said, as you say, he only trot and drone because he couldn't see the view no more. What's he mumbo? What did he say? He said an edge is an edge. He only chopped it down because it spoiled his view. What's Reaper moaning about? The IT Crowd is a famous British show about three members of an IT department of a London-based company. It's easy to follow and it's hilarious. It's a great choice for those who want to boost their understanding of British accents and British expressions. Also, if you're planning to work for an IT industry, that can be a great source of IT vocabulary for you. You see, the driver hooks a function by patching the system call table. If you want to watch your favorite TV shows in English without subtitles and understand them better, including every joke and slang word, it's time to boost your English. Join the intensive course from intermediate to advanced on linguatrip.com. Find the link to book this course in the description box of this video. Now to the shows that are suitable for students with intermediate English level. Doctor Who is a famous British TV show that has been on air on BBC since 1963. The show follows the adventures of the Time Lord called The Doctor. He's an alien creature, but he looks like a human who is also able to travel 
through space and time. The show has definitely become a big part of pop culture in the UK and is a must-see for all sci-fi fans. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I've lived for over 2,000 years. You're an alien. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Well, what are you standing there for? Come on! It's called the TARDIS, this one. It's bigger on the inside. It can travel anywhere in time and space. And it's mine. So where are we going? Further than we've ever gone before. It was also filmed in Cardiff. There's another point for Wales. And I'm going to do my little hooray for Wales dance. Here we go now. Here we go. And also in Cardiff, we have the Doctor Who experience. So if you ever visit Cardiff and you're a Doctor Who fan, go there. Yeah, everyone here is kind of crazy about Doctor Who. Top Gear is a well-known show for all fans of cars and motorsports. The hosts of the show, Jeremy Clarkson, James May and Richard Harmon, not only discussed and compared different cars, but they also joined challenges. Since 2016, the show has had different hosts, including Matt LeBlanc from Friends, by the way. But the golden period of Top Gear is definitely between 2002 and 2015. Misfits. This is a sci-fi dramedy show. It follows the story of a group of young offenders who were sentenced to community service. And after one strange electrical storm, they gained superpowers. All this, it's already happened once. Time went backwards. What, you turn back time? What if we're meant to be like superheroes? Superheroes? That kind of thing only happens in America. They speak modern British English and use a lot of slang. So if you have a high level of English, I definitely recommend this. But if you want to adopt some of those accents, be careful because some of them belong to um, what we call chavy class maybe not as educated. So if you want to sound educated, those would not be the accents for you to use in your English. At last, there are two British English TV shows for people with advanced levels of English. Downton Abbey is another British television hit. This is a historical drama set in a fictional Yorkshire estate called Downton Abbey in the early 20th century. We follow the lives of the aristocratic Crawley family and their servants, and we witness the great historical events such as the sinking of the Titanic, the First World War, the Spanish influenza pandemic, and we see how those important events influence the lifestyles, the habits, and the social positions of the main characters. We all have chapters we would rather keep unpublished. This is a great show to watch if you want to see more of English country life rather than life in bustling London. Enjoy the amazing views of the estate and learn to understand some of their archaic British accents. You telephone to say Edith is to be cherished. And the last one for today is Sherlock. Sherlock is a BBC TV series that became incredibly popular all over the world. It stars Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman. The showrunners transported the famous stories about Sherlock Holmes written by Arthur Conan Doyle to the 21st century. Now Sherlock fights with terrorists, prevents cyber attacks, and faces all sorts of modern problems. What are we dealing with? Something new. You like the funny cases, don't you? The surprising ones. Obviously. Who are you? Sherlock Holmes. What's he like to live with? Hellish, I imagine. I'm never bored. 
I'm sure if your English is at intermediate level, you'll be able to follow the show and really enjoy it. But if your English level is higher, you'll be able to understand all those jokes and puns. I hope that now every one of you will be able to find that right show for you to watch in English and work on the perfect British accent. If you're not sure what level you're at at the moment, follow the link in the description box and go to linguatrip.com and there you can have a free English level test. So take it, choose the right show for you, let me know in the comments which of them you have seen, which of them you're planning to watch and I'll see you in our next videos. Bye bye!